When my father bought the farm, he knew very little about farming, farm equipment, or animals for that matter. He had to learn, and he was very intelligent. So he learned from information given him by other farmers, some of whom may have taken advantage of him. My mother knew more about planting and some farm animals, but not about all farm animals. What she did know, she did to the best of her ability under the conditions which existed there then. In Poland, my grandfather Penar, that was my mother's father, had a small farm on which they raised vegetables and some livestock. My dad lived in the city, I believe. He never told us much about his youth as my mother did of hers. The only thing I remember mostly is my father's experiences in Poland when he served in the German army. He worked as a conductor on a train before army induction. While in the army, as we all know, rules are very strict and great respect had to be given to the higher-ups, what I mean, great respect. Salute the person no matter where or when. Failure to do so could mean imprisonment or even death to an ordinary soldier, which my dad was. He was on furlough when he happened to be seen by a superior who made it, made it his business to present himself before my dad. Being that the superior was not on duty then, and perhaps out of uniform, that I'm not sure of, my dad did not salute him properly, properly, and an argument ensued, at which time old Mr. George the soldier punched his superior several times probably even knocked him down, and ran. He ran, he hid, and ran from one country to another, and finally left France to America on a freighter. The German police, the army police, all were after him, but failed to catch up with him as he was already several days at sea. Do you know, they searched for him for years, and would have forced him back had they caught up with him. But they didn't. I understand that even when we were on the farm, people in uh, Pennsylvania told my dad that uh, uh, questions were being asked about his whereabouts. My mother, on the other hand, arrived at Ellis Island, I'm quite sure, to be with her older brother. I think his name was Stanley, and he promised to remain in America, but he didn't. My mother was disappointed, but had to stay in this country to earn passage back to Poland. She planned someday to return also. However, fate intervened and she married here, in Lindora, Pennsylvania. I think about 1904 or so. In the first part of my story, I explained my father's work on building boxcars for Pullman and my mother running a boarding house accommodating mostly other Polish immigrants. Now, all the records of my parents' arrivals here and even their marriage certificates are believed were destroyed by my father's second wife. That is why I don't have any exact dates. 